InDesign keeps track of whatever images you've put into your document in the links window, which is over here in the workspace. And if I open up that, it's subdivided into two areas. The top area lists all the images, and it tells you the status, and it tells you what page they're on. And these, incidentally, are hyperlinks. You can go straight to the image if you click on one, which we'll do in just a second. The lower part of the image, when you've got one of these list items selected, shows you all kinds of useful information about it. So how about if I want to go to see this image on page 2, if I click on it, there it is, and it's already selected. And down here it gives me all sorts of information about it. In fact, too much to fit. So it gives me the name, which corresponds to this, of course. It tells me the format. This is a JPEG. It tells me it's on page 2. And it tells me the color space, CMYK. This is very important, because if it was RGB, it may not print properly. The status is OK, which means that I don't have one of these yellow triangles, or even worse, a red circle with a question mark in it, which would mean the image was completely missing. This triangle means that since the image was put into InDesign, it's been edited somewhere else. And so the link item, the item that the object on the page refers back to, and when you print something or when you make a PDF, it goes and gets all the necessary information from the linked object. If the linked object is different, then what I see on my page and what I get printed may be two totally different things. So knowing that that's there is very important, and knowing how to fix it is very important too. This tells me the file size of the image. It gives me an international color consortium profile. It tells me which one's been selected for that. I'll tell you about that later. The actual PPI, pixels per inch, which is synonymous with DPI, dots per inch, is 300. And 300 is classic printing resolution, but it's 300 dpi at the size you want the image to appear. And now, because it's been resized on the page, its effective ppi is somewhat smaller. It gives me the dimensions. It gives me other kinds of metadata. The important things here are effective ppi, color space, and status. And if those three check out, then I'm okay to proceed, no matter what the others say.